Let's do it. Okay. One, two, here for another big time fresh episode um it's been a while because of my fault but uh so welcome back jp and roberta what is happening wonderful people hello hello so we have been doing our series which has actually been pretty popular since we um started uh, i think people like to hear not only about they what are in real life <laughs> oh. <laughs> damn Early. Hold on. Sorry. I was going to do one of the sound effects, but I don't think any of them apply to this. um, Oh, do we have JP's wah 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 queued up? Yeah, let me see. (laughs) Sad. It's called. Hey, y'all. That's listed as a favorite. That's probably F1 or something. (laughs) Um, Sorry. This is too much fun. Okay. So, Roberta. Not to be confused. What? Spit take, spit take. Was that a spit take? Is it a potential spit take? I said not to be confused with the ring job. (laughs) I should have just gone for it. That's what she said. Um, (laughs) Only when it's clean. Hmm, how does that work? (laughs) (laughs) And my face is red, not because I'm like laughing or embarrassed, it's because I went to the um, the water park yesterday. So I'm gonna Sometimes. fix it in post because my face is way too red. All right. Can so you Roberta, make me not look like a ghost? <laughs> I'll put some. <laughs> I'll put some color on you. What do you want? Thank JP? you, JP. You're actually good with the color palette. We just told you about that. Yeah, you're good. I know. You're <laughs> cool, bro. Um. All right. So Roberta has been leading us on this. Yeah. Uh, Roberta has been... <laughs> Are you going to heaven? Do you have a chance? That's the question. If there's no chance, then have fun. Might as well just. I mean, there's always, if... a, there's always a chance. If we're doing it the Catholic way, definitely not. No. Yeah, we're well, <laughs> yeah. Um, no, no. The reasonable way? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. All right. So Roberta is the one who does all the work on this. So I cannot. Thank you enough every single time for looking into it because it's also very well done. So thank you. Um, the best part of it is that we don't know what the topic is until we log on here, and that's the truth. Um, I have my notebook, JP. Nope. Nothing. All right, nothing. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> All right, Roberta, what we got today? Well, today she is painted green with envy, so. Envy. Uh, envy. Envy. How are we feeling about envy? I love those. Um, like I didn't study for the test. Oh. Oh, yeah. That face says it all. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. What are we talking about? <laughs> um, okay. So when you guys hear the word envy, what mm-hmm. comes to mind? Jealousy. 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 Keeping up with the Joneses. Jealousy. Wanting what mm-hmm. others have. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, not being satisfied with what you have. Lack of okay. humility. Okay. Yeah. Lack of humility. Mm-hmm. Interesting. All right. I'm going to take all of those uh, and just kind of run with that because we're going to circle back. Um, so the- <laughs> we're going to circle back. Circle all right. Back. This is going to be on the test. Um, so the definition of envy per our Oxford language dictionary is a feeling of discontent. I'm s- oh, there it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Fine. All right. Sorry. <sighs> All this hard work. Today. Nope. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> definition of Oxford, Oxford language dictionary, a feeling of discontented or resentful longing aroused by someone else's possessions, qualities, or luck. Oh. Luck is in there? One more luck. time. Oh, yeah. One more time. Yes. A feeling of discontented or mm-hmm. resentful longing aroused by someone else's possessions, qualities, or luck. 
Luck is the interesting one. Yeah, luck is interesting because it's just like being pissed off at someone else's good fortunes, basically, you know? Um, Yeah, JP's making some dancing, so what's going on over there? Yeah, what's what's happening there? I'm a lucky MFer, that's what. I'm just a lucky MFer. I'm I'm lucky. (laughs) Well, I was trying, that way you don't have to believe it. All right. Well, I, I mean, no, no, we can do oh. it. I've been practicing all day because my daughter's been here and I have to give her a dollar every time I say oh, it. First oh, word. Okay. oh, so it's been oh, like wow. $20 <laughs> this weekend. I'd never so, survive in that hassle. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> I don't know why I do it, but I figure it's just trying to be a parent. Um, but anyway, so you're a lucky motherfucker. That's great. Good for you. Yeah. Pat on the back. I'm humble too. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Okay. Um, so Aristotle, he says envy as pain, or he, he, I'm sorry, he defines envy as pain at the sights of another's good fortune. So that's where that luck comes in, right? Stirred by those who have what we ought to. So those who have what we ought to. What okay. we ought to. So JP, you're making a face. What's that about? Ought to. You're, you're owed nothing. To. Yeah, you're owed nothing. You're like, owed nothing. Yeah. Like so. So you're saying Aristotle is wrong? I'm saying I, I, I'm saying Aristotle is a hundred percent right. It's the mm-hmm. envy of thinking that you should be owed something is what's wrong. Mm-hmm. Right. And so as envy has been explored um, more throughout humanity and history, and it has sort of evolved as our culture evolves, there has now become a separation between feeling envious of somebody and feeling a sense of entitlement, which I think is where that ought to comes in. Yeah, and crazy. because the sense of entitlement feels like you're owed that, like you, you deserve that. You get that. You need that. Right. Like you earned it. However, so Gen Z. <laughs> I mean, you beat me to it. Some millennials too, not older millennials, yeah, but the some younger, millennials too. The younger um, ones. I deserve my, Yeah. Yeah. My friend, side note, uh, let us know that we're zillennials because we're on the cusp of Gen Z and, um, Gen Gen X. X. Mm-hmm. I prefer that over elder millennials. So oh, I do too. I maybe go to one elder. It. Like no, why no? JP, I'm the eldest okay. here, so yeah. <laughs> By what? T- how, how old are you? Enough. That's, like that's a, really all that matters. He's you like a actually... year older than me. Okay, we're all the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You graduated two years old before me. After me. Yeah. Okay. Either one of you want to admit that you're 40? Oh, no, you can't yet. Um, so there you go. Thank you. I don't so, want to be um, 40. I'm sorry. What day is it? Uh, I will be in 25 days. Wait, is that right? Math? Something like that? <laughs> okay. Are we doing math? Because I can get on that. Day. No, we're doing the fact oh. that we have to turn 40. I don't mind it. Honestly, I'm okay with it. So I got carded the other day. It was one. it was so awesome. It was it was you did wonderful. Your 40th birthday thing. Me? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't. Well, no, because I don't. I don't. I'm not a big birthday person. Mm. So yeah. you know, it's so just it's chill. Uh, yeah. So it's just okay. chill. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. Okay. So envy versus entitlement. Entitlement, right? Entitlement, so, Gen Z. All right. Here we are. Entitlement, Gen Z. So entitlement, a sense of entitlement is different than feeling envy. Just throwing it out there. There's a so, out there. All right. So yeah. envy would be like, they know somebody else has it, but they also don't believe they should have it for free, I guess. Like they have, uh, they just won the lottery. I'm mm-hmm. envious of them. But I'm not entitled to right. winning the lottery. Right. You don't necessarily like need a reason to feel envious. You can just feel envy because you want what somebody has, whether it be material possessions, you know, their position at a job, the money that they make, that big giant house that they live in and it's not like well i do the same thing i deserve that too no it is completely like well i want that 
But it doesn't. Right. It doesn't. It doesn't uh, limit itself to uh, material things, doesn't it? Like I can be. I can be envious of of like my wife's ability to focus and be steadfast and and stoic, right? Yes, you can. And we're going to go a little bit deeper into that. <clears throat> Excellent. Good job, JP. You are fantastic at the segues. You just like build me to All right. That's why I threw the notepad. Slow clap. <laughs> um okay. So our theological definition <laughs> of NB is right. It's resentment or sadness at another's good fortune. There it is again, or excellence with an often insatiable desire. Insatiable desire, I think, was like really interesting to have it for one's self. Hmm. And I think this might be the first time we have had a theological definition and like a secular definition uh mirror each other so closely so i don't don't take notes it's (laughs) the insatiable part like they're obsessed yes they're obsessed with it and there is there's no uh, there's no way that it'll satisfy them unless like they get it or they do other actions, which again, we're going to go into. I don't want to, you know, the insidious thing about it, because even when you get it, it's not enough. It's not enough. Not enough. Is it something where like you, you envy them and you, because of that, you resent what they have. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, okay, envious and resentment versus entitlement. Like you should have that, but you don't Mm -hmm. have that. So then you're resentful of that. So envious, you want to have it, it's you know you you know that you have to work or you don't have the ability or the opportunity to even be in a position to be able to get it so it's resentment built based on well it's like even if i try or you know even if i wanted to i'm not going to do it so i'm just going to be pissed off all the time um, right until i get it yeah right or it could just be continuing to like strive to to get what that person has and just it's just a constant thing where you're again are never going to be satisfied so I, I, Hamilton. I think that this correlates <laughs> like like in the philosophical conversations of on ron where she discussed it especially in relationships it's that you know um you, you have something that brings you joy something that brings you pleasure the other person wants you to give up that thing of joy out of love and so thereby this person gives up that thing of joy out of love because they love the other person and then they resent said person and then that person resents the resentment to take it on a vicious negative cycle Whoa. Mm-hmm. That's yeah mind, and and but... could it be that the person who asks you or tells you to give up that thing that you love are actually envious of the thing that you love. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Can you expand on that, JP? Sure. Because you said yes, yeah. Yeah, so let's say hypothetically that that I want to be more physically fit, right? I wanna mm-hmm. I wanna lose weight, right? And I wanna be active. And my partner is active in like a team sport with somebody else, like soccer or something of that nature, right? Uh-huh. And I want them to give up. I want them to stop doing soccer because of whatever reason, right? The underlying issue might be that they have this outlet that, that helps them stay physically fit. And sorry, but misery loves company. They, they want them to give it up. And then, and then they do, they give it up because they love the person. All right. I'm going to give up this, this thing that I brings me joy for you. Um, and then ultimately they resent each other for, for the resentment and whatever. Wow. So so that so for that it's based on some toxicity and uh, mm-hmm. in a relationship in the first place. Uh, like all, right. I- all right. So you're with you're with somebody and they play a lot of video games, right? You don't like video games, and you want them to stop playing video games, right? You either want them to stop playing video games because it could be a multitude of reasons, right? But maybe it's because they don't clean up around the house or anything like that. So it it. I mean, we can go layer upon layer that, you know, um, you're jealous of their inability to just let the house be a freaking mess. 
Like that's what that's what oh, it morphs okay. into, right? You're jealous of their carefree attitude. Yeah. You're you're je- jealous of the fact that they're just they're not responsible. But what overtakes you is your responsibility and your want for cleanliness and so on and so forth. And so when when you're asking your partner, maybe like, can you do a better effort to clean the house and, and this and that? It yeah, it's it's because you want to clean home, but it's also because you might be mildly envious of the fact that they don't give a shit. Wow. Um, That's crazy. Okay. Uh, maybe, can, maybe not. Is that right? I don't know. Okay. Um, so we are talking about jealousy, right? JP was talking yeah. about somebody could be envious. So what I want to bring up is that envy and jealousy are not the same thing. And oftentimes they are confused for being the same thing. So what I want to say to you is envy is sort of the painful feeling of wanting what somebody else has. Yes, generally it is attributed to um, possessions, material possessions, money, that sort of thing, right? And so uh, that being said, if you're jealous, then you're either feeling threatened, protective, Mm -hmm. you could be scared, uh, fearful of losing your position or situation or even just a person to someone or something else. So there is that little bit of balance, right? Um, Can jealousy and envy coexist? Coexist, of course they can, Um, but they are not synonymous with each other. So jealousy is basically... uh... Is it like more specific to relationships? Yes. Yes. Okay. Jealousy is more specific to relationships. Um, it envy envy usually requires two parties, right? A person feeling the envy and then the person that they're envious of. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Jealousy requires three. So for example, you might feel jealous of like your friend's new friend because Mm -hmm. you feel like that new friend might be replacing you okay not me does that make sense oh but yeah spitting 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 (laughs) nah you didn't get it um okay so that makes sense does that make sense probably one yeah Yeah, i thought it was one at first but you're making that makes sense because like you can't be jealous of somebody if there's nothing threatening that right something right so so this is where a lot of yeah go ahead sorry (laughs) um so i guess insecurity must play a part in this with jealousy or I don't know. Absolutely. I I mean, of course it does because if you're not secure in your relationship with that person to begin with, then of course jealousy is going to arise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't even think of the best friend or the friend. I that is a big one. I mean, well, yeah, let's use the most common um reason jealousy is out there. A devil's three-way. De- according to whom? <laughs> you perv. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Yeah. Um, Go on. So yeah, like <laughs> you know, a guy has a, a girlfriend, and all of a sudden, you know, he makes a new friend that's a girl. And now this girlfriend suddenly becomes jealous of this new friend because she thinks that she's going to replace her, you know, as his yes. girlfriend, that sort of thing, or, you know, vice versa, girlfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend, whatever it is, that's, you know, pretty much across the board. Ooh, that's a good one. That is the most common. So like, Hey, for example, like, and I think about this all the time, like having being a, a single mom and having one child, mm-hmm. it's like, okay. Um, if it's just me and her, then somebody else comes in and then not requires but like you know why me wanting to give the attention so it's my choice to be the person to give yes. attention then the my daughter might get insecure therefore jealous because she might think that i'm going to give all of my attention and just shift it over 
to him. So she won't know where she stands. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Gotcha. So that's, that's the difference between the two. Um, I want to bring us back to our theological definitions. Cause I know we got off on a little bit of a tangent there, which is totally My fine. Cause it, no, no, but it's a part of the, it's a part of the topic yeah. and, and it's absolutely relevant to it. So just happens. Yeah. That's, that, that's why our conversations are two hours long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not I'm gonna, I'm gonna start anyone. like I'm, and at this point I'm just gonna start letting it roll because I was yeah. cutting so much out but it's like I'm just gonna let it ride. I think so because right? it's like the natural progression and flow of a conversation. Yeah, okay. you know. Um, okay, so do you guys remember our good friend Saint Thomas Aquinas? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good old Tommy. <laughs> he says. Envy, according to the aspect of its object, is contrary to charity. So it's basically the opposite opposite of charity. Right? Charity rejoices in our neighbor's goods, while envy grieves over it. Ew. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Does that make you a terrible person? Yeah, you're going to hell. That's the point. Like it's <laughs> deadly sin. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, oh, according to them, yeah, you're right. oh, according to them, yeah. yeah, they, uh, envy. According to men. <laughs> according to men? It's not the Bible, which men. means a man had to write it, right? Like, yes. Oh, fuck, that's true. Nothing but men wrote the Bible. Why do you think all the women are either vilified or... Or are essayed. Or a mom. <laughs> Catholics. <laughs> Anywho, forcing us to have children. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. Mm, oh God. There's, that's a whole. It's that's a whole so, other series whew. like yeah. that. Too much. Catholicism. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um. Okay. So Bertrand Russell, he is a mathematician. He's American math. I'm sorry, British mathematician, philosopher, <clears throat> logician, and a public intellectual. Which Ooh, I've never right. heard of the word of a logician before. Yeah, answer. Thank you. No, no. I, question. Yeah, word. Yep. Uh, uh, basically, someone is. who practices logic, like they're exceedingly well or good at it, of practicing logic. That's hard. That's, that's, hmm. How do you mm-hmm. practice? Well, he's just a super smart guy. He is a super or he's smart really guy. really confident. Yeah. And I didn't, okay. and I, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I didn't get too much into him. But what he said about envy, what I thought was pretty interesting, envy is the most potent of causes of unhappiness, bringing sorrow to committers of envy, while giving them the urge to inflict pain upon others. Yes. One hundred percent. That's so. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. That makes sense. No, that mm-hmm. totally makes sense. I feel like that's the worst one because you're doing it to yourself, and it's almost. I feel yes. like that one's control, like almost way more. It's more uh, controllable or so, mm-hmm. yes. Like, how can, how yes, can you, absolutely. How can you focus on your own happiness if you're paying so much attention to somebody else's? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna dive a little bit more into that, but before we do, I want to ask you, just basic, what basic experiences do you guys have with envy, if at all? And it, mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be into a huge example, just you know something that may come to your head. Oh, I got it. Go, you go, and I'll go. Well, you said it causes pain, right? Mm-hmm. It's painful. It's it's something traumatic, right? Mm-hmm. And it is, it is it is other people's ability to to focus and be steadfast and not not get distracted and 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 not understanding or trying to figure out the logic of, of why I can't and it uh, it's painful and it's frustrating mm-hmm. and that that I'm very envious of that absolutely yeah. so so yours is, is more from like an internal perspective of 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 self. I, is this the same thing? So I am envious, and I bring this up because I'm still kind of envious of the people that have jobs right now because I had one and I was, you know, I was doing fine, and all of a sudden I don't have one, 
because of something that wasn't my fault. So I am envious of the people who still have their jobs, even though they aren't do they are they aren't as a high of a performer that I am. Mm -hmm. So now I'm like, well, why do I not have a job? If they have a job and they suck, I'm here and I don't have a job. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where I'm, I sit with that. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's interesting that that's what you say, because that actually leads us into our next little part, <laughs> which is the idea that there are two different types of envy. Mm. And in some languages, like uh, the Dutch language, um, they have variations of envy. Um, there is benign envy. And then there's malicious envy. And that requires chemo. <laughs> you silly. Wait, benign and what? Malicious. 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 Not malignant. Okay. <laughs> I was like this close. So close. Okay. Yeah, so benign cancer. envy, it is still a negative emotion in the sense that it feels bad. Like generally good people don't like feeling envious of others. Like, no. like you were saying Bella, right. And JP. Mm -hmm. So there is an actual positive side to benign envy. And some researchers believe that it can lead to, um, emulation. So emulating though those that person or I you said ovulation. I was like, no, ah, no ovulation. No <laughs> emulation. Emulating. No, you cannot. I can't do that. No. Oh, <laughs> good. Got it. <laughs> emulation. Okay. So um, <laughs> yeah, like modeling yourself after the person that you're envious of, right? Oh, that's creepy. Mm but using it in a sense to as almost like they're a role model for you. Okay. Yeah. Got okay. a positive form. Yes. Okay. Um, like I'm going to copy somebody like they're going to go wear this, this and this. I'm going to wear this, this and this and just kind of be a creeper, but that's not. Yeah. Without maybe the stalker vibes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. okay. One day we're doing shorts, came to school in cutoffs and flip flops, and the next day everybody was wearing cutoffs and flip flops. Mean girls. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Got it. So there's also uh, improvement motivation. So essentially, that feeling that envy of that person is going to motivate <clears throat> you to improve yourself. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think that's yeah. where more of where I live head, in my head space. Yeah. Like, There's right, also yeah. yeah. Let's let's pause. While JP fills up his drink. Sorry. Are you finished? Okay. <laughs> Continue. Thank mark, you. I'm gonna mark that. Yeah. Or maybe I'll leave it in. I'll see. Okay. And then. <laughs> Um, it can also bring about positive thoughts about the other person. Like I said, you are seeing this person and you're envious of this person, but that doesn't necessarily make that person like a bad person, right? Or maybe they mm -hmm. worked really hard to get what they have that you're envious of. And so you're like, gosh, this person is great. They've worked hard. They are a role model. I want to be like this person. Um, not so much again in an obsessive way, but more of like um, striving to be like them. So like sports in general. Yes. Yeah. I feel like yeah. across the board. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to Where... be the next uh, LeBron James, right? Yeah. That Boo. Sort of thing. Sorry. Oh my gosh. It was just. Um, okay. What would you say? Yeah. Oh, in that conversation, it's always Michael. Come on. Jeez. Oh, here, this, oh, okay. This. Be like Mike. That's our generation, though. Yeah, we're, oh, yeah. We're just millennials. Yeah. <laughs> I think about that with soccer, too, because our generation, I think, was David Beckham. Or I Messi. Think. I think Messi was. In the next one? After ours, yeah. yeah. And then now it's, uh, or no, now. Cristiano I, I, Ronaldo maybe was the following. Um, that guy. Beckham. I don't know. <laughs> 
Becca, who's coming? Yeah. So anyway, I was saying. Yeah, I feel like that. And then the last one is admiration and recognition. So again, you're admiring this person. You're recognizing that this person is somebody you'd like to be like. So I got a so, question. Yeah. And so, like, Bella, your scenario where you talk about the, the you know, you, you say that you're envious because, like, these people still have, they're still employed, right? Mm -hmm. But but you're not complacent with that, right? You don't just sit at home and you sulk. So what is that when you take something that, that would be, you know, negative because of this envious feeling you feel mm -hmm. and you spin it into something positive to make yourself better? And it's Ooh, not any hard. one person. It's not, it's not a specific individual, but it is more looking within. So how can that be considered envious? And then also, am I trying to emulate them or am I trying? You're trying to be better. Me personally, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. so that's making me work a lot harder to, with, so emulation, but yeah. can emula I guess the question, can emulation apply to a singular or is it, I mean, now I'm saying out loud. A collective? To, collective, yeah. Yeah. Actually, it could be either or. If this this sort of benign envy is dealt with in the right way, if it's dealt if it's approached correctly, right? Because there's a way that we could approach envy and use it as a learning experience or a motivator, right? Mm -hmm. It can have a positive and like we were saying, motivating effect on a person that they're driving them to be a better person and succeed. And that's where that difference is. So it's almost like lighting a fire under your ass. Yeah. Especially if you're like, I don't want to be envious of other people, right? Like, that's not me. This is, I need to get going. I need to hit the ground running. I need to do, you know, whatever it is to... <laughs> James Paul. James Paul. Sorry, I guess I was straight for that. Uh, so, so with the malicious, so the flip on that, would the malicious aspect of that be, I want people mm -hmm. to be envious of me? Oh. Mm, we're going to get to that. Wow. We're going to get to that. But I still want to talk a little bit about benign envy. Bella, you already gave us one. You look like you have quite, I do have a follow-up question. No, I was going to say, uh, side note, which, uh, are you using your computer camera or your webcam? Or Me? do you have a separate one? Yeah. I'm using my uh, webcam. Roberta. Okay. Webcam. Because it looks like, I don't know if it's like the you, it, webcam. It, it, look, it looks a little bit grainy, but you had previously said that even though it looks that way to us, that that yeah. doesn't mean that that's the way it's going to be. Yeah, because on here it okay. says it's going to look good. I no, clicked off my sure. webcam and I'm using my integrated camera. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. My integrated no. camera is not good. Okay. Not I thought the same thing about one. mine, but yeah. Crazy. No, it says actual recording is in higher quality, but oh. so we're good. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. 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 All right. Good. Yeah. Okay. So, Bella, you already gave us a fantastic example of benign Ooh. envy. Mm -hmm. JP, what about you and benign envy? Is there something that you have an example of in which you've felt that way? Anything in sport. Anything in sport. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where I was, I, I, you know, somebody else's like physical attributes and, but nobody, and I guess in, in professional life too, it's like, yeah, they might be smarter than I am, more skilled, but nobody's going to outwork me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to hustle so, like, with me. Yeah, and that just it it, it just gives you that me. drive to keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So the, the is that, benign is that accurate, it or... lives. Yeah. yeah. It, so, but by benign, it means it 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 it's it is by definition considered envy, but mm -hmm. because of your mindset, it's benign because you're you're still going regardless yes. of if if it's there or not. But it's always so, in the back yes. of your mind, or it's yeah. always yeah. present. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's more okay. of a motivating factor than to have that, remember that term, insatiable desire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Driving, a driving force out of something positive, not out of fear. Yes. Yes, okay. Well, fear is where jealousy came in. Right. Okay. Right? Got it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. 
Got it. Okay. Got it. Okay. So now that we have that, let's go into malicious envy. Mm. Okay. Malicious envy is actually an, it's still the undesirable emotion and it leads to the envious person wanting to knock down the more fortunate person, even if it's to their own detriment. Mm. And so, and so how is that separate from, from, from greed, right? Where we have spoken about dragging somebody down to pull yourself up. Don't those kind of go hand in hand? I, with greed, I think the difference is it's self-serving, wanting, 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 self-serving, that sort of thing. There's another, another person involved in greed and greed. It's just you and it is what you want. As you. far as envy goes, yeah, it's like, I want what you have and I'm going to do whatever I need to do to you or myself to make it happen. Got it. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah. yeah. And that's envy where the malicious is- really comes in. Knocked down. Okay. So. Notes. Let's say um there's an ex and an ex uh what a ex-wife and a husband mm-hmm. and one of them has a girlfriend or whatever mm-hmm. and they're envious of that because they don't have that relationship or whatever and so because that person the husband with the girlfriend or the, the new relationship is fortuitous or it's a good thing and Mm -hmm. the other person is like what the fuck um i want that too Mm -hmm. then they will go out of their way to like mess with their head or um you know i don't know crash i don't know uh Mm -hmm. they'll they'll, they'll call up the 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 new someone and just talk trash about all the bad things about their ex that would be malicious Yeah. yeah Or it could even be going to the point where they make themselves look ridiculous going to the lengths that they would to destroy that person's relationship. They don't care how they're appearing anymore. They're like, I don't care if I'm the crazy ex-girlfriend. I'm going to fucking tear it down. Oh, sorry. I'm going to burn this I'm bitch down gonna... and I will light yes. myself on fire yes. in the process. If I'm going yeah. down, I am taking you uh, with yeah. me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fuck you yes. and your happiness. Yeah. Because I if I can't have it, you can't have it. Yeah. That's malicious. Company. Exactly. <laughs> hurt people, hurt people. Hurt people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so knowing this about malicious envy what experience has have you had if any with malicious envy at their own expense is where yeah and that's that's a tough one it's at their own expense Mm -hmm. so like yeah i can't malicious envy i could say like no that doesn't make sense i was this is hard Mm -hmm. at their own expense um so how about somebody getting out of an abusive relationship Mm-hmm. And they are doing better with their lives. They are, um, they're progressing. They're doing really well. Um, they've broken out of that cycle. Um, and they're happy and they're thriving. And there are people around them who may be still stuck in mm-hmm. abusive relationships and aren't able for one reason reason or another to get out however they're envious of the person who has gotten out of an abusive relationship but because they can't get themselves out they're willing to do what it takes to try to bring that person who is thriving Mm. down even if it makes them destroy relationships look crazy um 
uh, I got you one. know, like that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got one. Yeah, there Let's are people that I that I still don't talk to today because mm -hmm. got out of a relationship and just like that started moving on, mm -hmm. doing better. Mm -hmm. uh, and this person made it a point to 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 contact said people and just steamroll yeah bus drive and and uh n nobody asked me if this stuff was true or not mm -hmm. like yeah yeah the, but, it, like, it's let's uh, say but, but they didn't say he did this it was we did this and you know it yeah. was like you know yeah so they're yeah. they're throwing themselves into the fire with you yeah but okay to, yeah That's see nice. see yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you're being okay. brought down because if they can't reach their your level with their envy, right? There's like they they know that they can't get there for yeah. whatever reason. Then instead of trying to get there with you, they're gonna and bring you back down to their mm, level. Okay. And by any means necessary. Because well, how do you how do you know going... he did that? Well, I was there and I was doing it too. Yes. That's... Right. So then it's like taking at their word if they're you know. Yeah. Because who and would he, who would say that they did awful things to to right? marry someone else? Right, and, and who would they be a person? Yeah, yeah. And here's the thing: if benign envy drives is a driving force and gives that motivation and something positive, think of how malicious envy can be a driving force and and, and motivation to do something negative awful hurtful and that's the that's the difference between the two negativity begets that's, negativity that's hard but so it takes a special type of person to be like, you know um oftentimes people who act out in that sort of way mm -hmm. have uh a narcissistic tendency oh, or, yes. or a narcissist yeah that sort of thing uh yeah 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 uh it's it's very common that the two are leaked hmm i was gonna give an example uh so i'm just saying so i was at a bar and mm -hmm. i don't think this is the same thing um Let's hear it anyway. A rabbi, a yeah. priest, and a oh, no, no. <laughs> So I was at a bar with, at that time, uh, whoever I was dating. And then he was, like, being a complete and total asshole and kind of, like, berating me and doing all this stuff. But in the process, in order for me, in order for him to protect his own ego he got in fights with everybody who was trying to protect me. So that would be like him being, um, I don't know, but see, I don't think that's at his own expense. I feel like that's his Well, ego. he was, he was willing to make himself look foolish. Okay. Yeah. I think that's where I was trying to, yeah. But, but then I don't know about the, the envious part of it. Mm -hmm. Like, what was he trying to prove? You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, James Paul. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard. So maybe that's not. Uh, maybe he was I'll envious. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I was thinking maybe he was envious of the attention I was getting at the bar. Well, the empathy or that they were able to give. Right. Mm, okay. Or even just the protection. Maybe that was his insecurity mm -hmm. coming coming out to that level, uh, where maybe he felt like he couldn't protect you. He couldn't. Well, but there you go. Through. But there you yeah, go. okay. So he was trying to, um, so he was jealous or whatever. And yeah. he, he envied how I was attracting attention at the bar. So he was willing to fight or treat me like shit and then fight people, which mm -hmm. would make him look bad because it mm -hmm. makes him look like a worse person um, to, yeah. But what he was getting out of it yeah. was treating you like shit and bringing you down Okay, to so where it, he okay, was good. at. Because if he's, if he's acting like that, then he himself feels like shit. That's yeah. projecting, right? 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. No, that makes sense. That's, it, uh, yeah. It's like getting into an argument in a relationship, right? And, uh, maybe, maybe one person isn't engaging mm -hmm. and, and, and you've already, you or they, I'm going to say you, I'm going to say me. I have already done something awful, right? I have already, I've already screwed up. So you will continually peck to get somebody's goat to where, you know, like you called them a name, but they're not name calling. And you will, you will continually get after them to where they called you a name back. And now we're mm -hmm. suddenly on the same playing field when you're really not. Right. Yeah. Yes. You're envious of, uh, well, you're envious of their ability to not, not get to your level and y you will, yeah. you will make yourself look worse by continuing to peck at them and put them down to hit a nerve to get a reaction back out of them. Ugh, no, yes. that... I know, I know, I know right? It makes my skin one. crawl. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. To make it, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think oftentimes, uh, especially if it is involving a narcissist, they might not even realize how foolish, crazy, whatever it is they look because in their mind with the envy, mm -hmm. that malicious, malicious envy, they, um, they're in the justified. Right. Mm -hmm. They're in the right. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Gross. Right. I know. I know. I'm Man. guilty of that. narcissists. What? Oh, I'm guilty of narcissistic tendencies, of course. To say that I'm, to say that, 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 that I'm, you guys don't, no, 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 I can humbly say that no, I'm not one. I can confidently say I'm not a narcissist, but I can also humbly say that, you know, uh, that, that I have shown, a, you know, narcissistic tendencies at times. It doesn't, well, you know, it's not an all or nothing. Right. Like, um, it's, but, but it's not your, your first action or your first thought that defines who you are. It's your second, third and fifth and fourth and, and what you become after that. And if I may add on to that, it depends on what you do following those narcissistic tendencies that truly matter. Right. We all have narcissistic tendencies. None of right. us are perfect. We all right. fuck up. Right? right. We make mistakes. There's, you know, like, we unintentionally hurt people sometimes yeah we want to make ourselves look better than we actually are yeah. however it is our actions behaviors whatever it may be that come following that that make right. the true difference right but it's the unintentional that i have mm -hmm. uh, an issue with because i don't think okay. I, I, don't, I mean i don't think any three either any one of us would be like I'm going to hurt that person. Exactly. Like, I'm going to do this. No. Like, I'm, I don't want them to feel happy right now, so I'm going to bring them down. I right. can see it being an accident for sure. But, Absolutely. Um, yeah. yeah. I do not have it. I mean, no matter how many fights I've been in with my ex, family, whomever, I don't set out to hurt people right. simply for the purpose of hurting them. That no. I I am not no. on board no. with. I will never be on board no. with. I think that's but I can get, the horrendous thing fuck. to do. I get petty as fuck. I think that's different though, right? There, is, that is. Petty is different. I feel like if uh, you're a narcissistic, t narcissist, if you're a narcissist, then it's, it, it lives within you in more ways than just that one way how it's coming out. Yes, absolutely. It's going to come out in, in different facets of your life no matter what. So I am a negative thing because of you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am a positive way... thing because of me. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yep. This, yeah. Yep. Okay. Got exactly. It. Okay. So we have our two types of envy, right? There are some people who argue that the actions of envy, whether it be hurting someone else's standing or malicious envy, right? Or bettering one's own standing for benign envy are not a part of what defines the actual emotion of envy. Can you say okay. that one more time? 
Yeah, I yeah. absolutely can. Yeah, it's it's a tough one. There are those that argue that the actions of envy, whether it be hurting someone or someone else's standing from malicious envy or bettering yourself or your standing for benign envy. So those are two arguments, right? Those people argue that those are not a part of what defines the actual emotion of envy. What does? Well, that's the, that's the argument, right? Because there are other people out there who are like, oh, wait a minute, those actions are literally an essential part of envy. So okay, some I'm are lost. saying that, that, yeah. uh, that it's not. Some yeah. is like, hey, you're acting this way because you want what they have. Yeah, um, and that's a part of the envy emotion. This is why you, these are your behaviors. These are your actions, right? There are some people who are like, uh-uh, no, those actions, that's not a part of envy. That is not a part okay. of the emotion. Okay, so like sports, maybe. Mm -hmm. So I'm not envious of them. I'm inspired by them. And so right. I want to try to be them, yes. but it could also be seen as envy by somebody else. It's like, oh, you're jealous of them. So you're trying to be like them. Yes, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Bella. Way to break it down. Hell yes. Yeah. Gold so, star. Round, of applause. <laughs> round of applause. So yeah. I am going to follow up that with a question, but it's broken down. Okay. Okay. So do you think being in a certain situation, like we were saying, Think about a situation that you were talking about with envy. Let's take, you know, like a boyfriend, girlfriend scenario, right? Do you think being in that situation affects how envy generates behavior? Or is it the situation that affects with the type of envy that you're feeling? So is it the situation that generates the behavior or is it the situation that generates the feeling and what you do with the feeling is the deciding factor or is it the feeling of envy that's going to continue to progress you on this road to acting a fool? The second one? The second one? <laughs> so There's the no situation... right or wrong answer. There's so no right or wrong answer. There you go. So it's a situation that's when you're in that situation, yeah. that's where it pops up. Yeah. So it's like not like you're you're currently holding on to this mm -hmm. uh, envious personality trait or whatever. And then yeah. it, it could apply to every situation. It's mm -hmm. just like the situation almost like yeah. triggers your enviousness. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if it's exactly, then there then there is a right or wrong. <laughs> Well, that's the whole debate, isn't it? There's there's no right or wrong answer. Yeah, when it comes to feelings and emotions, I mean, honestly, it, let's be real, it's all psychology. And the psychology, if you ask me, I still think it's in its infancy. So yeah. we're still learning a lot about it. And I think that that's why, especially when it comes to like these deadly sins, things that have always been uh, looked at and judged as being a deadly thing, right? Like these are going to put you on the path to hell mm -hmm. are sort of being re-examined and what the reality of their meanings versus their feelings are. I like it. Yeah. Okay. This is getting okay. harder. <laughs> well, let's move on <laughs> no. from that one then. No, it's okay. good though. I mean, I'm, it's, it's really awesome breaking it down. Um, and I'm glad it's kind of complicated because it shows that I'm glad it's you know, not maybe it's a, it. maybe I know. <laughs> Thank you, Roberta. Um, I love it. Are you kidding not, me? <laughs> okay, good. Um, I'm a nerd. That it's not. You have to really dig deeper than the the surface that to determine yes. whether or not the envy is a, envy is benign or malicious. So it's not yes. just always bad. So it's a it's a sin. But not necessarily, depending on how it's right. Being, yeah. Okay. Or the severity of the sin. Okay. If we want to go there. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to move on now to envy 
and possessions or status, right? Because this is really where the root of it is. So envy oftentimes includes the motivation to outdo or diminish someone else's advantages, Ooh, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this may be based on material possessions rather than psychological, okay. usually, right? So again, material possessions, cars, houses, all the cool techie things, right? Whatever yeah. is new and amazing and shiny and expensive and, you know, all that jazz. So people find themselves encountering overwhelming emotion based on somebody else owning or having desirable things that they don't, right? It's always wanting something that you don't have. And that's where the whole never satisfied thing comes in. Because if you're continuously envy, uh, and especially if it's someone where you don't run in the same circles or you're not the same um, social standing or, you know, whatever, that is always going to be there. And you are constantly going to tr try to achieve a goal that is impossible to reach. Yeah. You can't yeah. reach it. Yeah. No. Right. You're setting yourself right. up for failure. Yeah. And so envy in that sense occurs in the forms of like emotional pain, like we were talking about, right? The lack of self-worth. You look down on yourself. Even what Bella was saying, you know, when it came to your benign envy, where you're like, these people are dumb. How do they have jobs and I don't, right? Because that yeah. makes you question your own self-worth. Even though yes. you know you're a bad bitch, right? You, yes, ma'am. <laughs> it made you question yourself. And, and then, yeah, yeah go I ahead. Mean, that's, that is absolutely the case. And it's probably one of the hardest things I've dealt with in life over this past mm -hmm. two or three years. Because mm -hmm. um, I've always been a high achiever. I've always gone, you know, 110% because that's how I am. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I would be the person who was like, okay, I have a goal. I reach it. But mm -hmm. then when it became out of my control, really that not only am I not who I, th it made me feel like I'm not who I thought I was because mm -hmm. I'm not 110%. I'm actually like uh, um, uh, operating at 50% because I don't have what it takes to live or live a fulfilling life. I, meaning like, I don't have the money to be myself. It's taken mm -hmm. me forever to get a job. Um, so the belief that I used to have, which was so strong or the confidence that I had in, in myself, I put so much worth into me, uh, into the career part. Like the career is what drives my, um, ego, my success, whatever. And so as soon as that hit, it like declined significantly to where mm -hmm. it's like, okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not going to find, I'm not that smart. There's something wrong with me. You know, I'm not trying to bring other people down, but right. I envy the people who a feel like that I used to feel and B they don't, they suck, but they're better yeah. than me. Yeah, you know no, I mean? and, yeah. And, and the thing is, it's just like, what would you tell your, what would you tell your daughter? It's like, Hey, that person doesn't yeah. like me. It's like, don't worry about it. That person's a dick. Right. Like, they don't. Yeah. They're yeah. They're yeah. A dick. Like they're, yeah. you can't, you can't, can, you can't control them. Like they're, no. Yeah. Right, like, right. And that can be a company. That can be a person. Yeah. It could be a group. Yep. Uh, yep. You know, it could be your own doubt in your own mind. Like, yes. you know, I'm telling myself that I'm, I'm not worthy. Like, yes. no, I'm worthy. It's hard. Like, it's hard. I, I do have those moments. I'm like, what the fuck am I? What? It's hard. Like, I, I'm, you know, I got this. I have, every, you know, everything I need, but it's, it's me yeah. in my head. Like, yeah. No. I'm not See, this, I'm not that. Ever, ever, that, and that's the, it, like, like talking about these seven deadly sins and, and, and these basically, these baselines, if you will, that, that it is a complete gray area after that, right? Like mm -hmm. at, at, at face value, it is, it is good to say, do not be jealous, do not be envious and this and that, but we all are products of our environments and our experiences mm -hmm. and this and that. And so like, even myself, if I were to stop and, and think like, Hey, I, I can't, I can't focus like that person can focus this and that it, it, it negates the positive attributes that, that, that 
come with who I am yeah. and what I'm able to do. Yeah. The the true the the true confidence with that is by saying, yes, I have positive qualities too. Not mm-hmm. I have things that I can do that they can't. That's that's where that that negativity comes into play, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, your self-esteem and well-being are taking a hit. They're taking a major yeah. hit. And because that envy is a large part of what you're feeling, yeah. It's almost if we want to use a psychology term, negative self-talk. Yeah. Right. So 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 the idea or ideal way to be is, you know what? I don't have the same qualities that that individual has, but I have these good qualities about myself and true envy is going, yeah, but they can't do what I can do. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Oh, so it, it, it's, you're focusing on, on, on you and, and, and them rather than just focusing on the positivity. No, of that doesn't, no, that doesn't No, No, envy Got doesn't it. have any, um, agenda. I, I mean, there's an agenda, but it Mm. doesn't include the way you think about yourself other than the fact that you're just envious of what other people have. Remember, I was there's there's also a common misconception that entitlement and envy are the same thing. They are not because entitlement, you think that you deserve what they have. Envy, you just want it. You just want it. And it's not because I can do what they can, or, you know, they can't do what I can do. There's no reason. There's no logic behind it. it. None. You just want it. You want it. So then in my situation, would that, would that be like, they have it and they're stupid. I'm better than them. I should have it. So is that, that's the negative one, right? That's the negative self-talk. Yeah. Oh, yay. And so it, it, but here's the thing. It's not broaching into malicious because remember benign envy is still envy it's still a shitty feeling to have sure right but you're not going to great lengths to bring those people that you know you're better than and smarter than to bring them down or right. to okay. diminish what they have so you can build yourself back up yeah that's, that's the difference point. yeah okay yeah i don't even know them i'm just like there's people out there right. that suck Right. You're, you're Some envious of, <laughs> yes, they do. You're envious of faceless people in general. It is not one person that you're focusing on. So right. it's more of like the idea, right? Yeah. Yes, exactly. And that's the difference. Um, so that being said, JP, you said this idiom earlier, keeping up with the Joneses. Mm-hmm. You love them idioms. I do. love them idioms. And and the moment you said it, I was like, yes. So <laughs> a, a little them. background, a little background on keeping up with the Joneses. Um, according to the Cambridge Dictionary, it is to always want to own the same expensive objects and do the same thing as your friends or neighbors because you are worried about seeming less important right and so like gen z years keeping up the joneses is the same thing as keeping up with the kardashians just to be clear exactly that is literally what the title is referring to like laid out in envy the foundation of envy and so uh one of the things about keeping up with the joneses it is the benchmark of social class or accumulation Mm of material goods yeah gotta keep up with the joneses they got a new car i gotta i gotta gotta get a more expensive new car right oh they just got a 74 inch tv or whatever the hell it is i'm gonna get an 80 something it's not only trying to mac meet that level but sometimes even wanting to like take it to that next step just so you can be like "Mm, exactly rub their nose i hate one up being god yeah, okay. I hate it more. <laughs> oh, I hate it the most, you guys. And you I can't hate it, most, hate it more than the most. Infinity plus one, whatever you say. For the yeah. eternity. For each eternity. Uh, exactly. Okay, so let me ask you this. 
does the whole keeping up with the Joneses mentality, does that lead to behaving enviously? (laughs) And could it, and do you think it leads more towards benign envy or malicious envy? Malicious. The second one. The second one. Why? I feel like it's a never ending, it's never ending unless it's, if you start off that way and you're, I don't think it's a mentality it, they can get out of unless there's a, because a big you're, change. You're, yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, yeah. Because you're not focused on you. You're focused on something, right. something outside of you. It's like, I, it's right. 74 inch TV is giant. I'm fine with that. They got right. an 80 inch TV. Oh, so now I have to get an 80 inch TV. I feel like that's a, that's like a type of person almost true, yes. true, true perfectionists will never reach perfection because yes. they also right. know that there's no such thing but it, but yeah. it gives them it's it gives them this, it is a yeah. mind fuck, yeah. but 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 it, but it yeah. still can be a positive driving force yeah but that's, in, that's yes. internal right because uh you know yeah they can you know they might and to, to, to break it down and make it simple like if you're running you might run faster if somebody's running right next to you um, mm-hmm. you know, but like, uh, the thing is, is that where, where it becomes, <laughs> becomes that other aspect is when you look down and you, oh, okay, they're running faster because they got new sneakers. It's like, well, mm-hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to get better sneakers and blah, blah, blah. And, 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 and it's an outside focus instead of an, instead of looking within. Yeah. Mm, so you're yeah. never going to yeah. get there. Yeah. No, no. And then think of the, again, the lengths that people will go to with keeping up with the Joneses, getting in massive amounts of debt yes and not being being able to sustain uh a a quality of life that you have tried to make for yourself Mm -hmm. um you know it's so there's a dead end at some point yeah there's got to be whether it's you're getting evicted uh you're going bankrupt you're getting taken to claims court whatever it may be like jp said if you're taking it to that level there's no end in sight it has to be more when self-awareness comes back and it's like why am i doing this i will give you i will give you a great example and it was self-serving and it did give me validation which ultimately made me feel good that that it was a Mm -hmm. but it was a product of it it was it wasn't the goal and what it was is my it was my car and mm-hmm. you know like everybody's got like let's call it a cadillac escalade right like that is the upper echelon of, of, of well i mean yeah bentley whatever but everybody's like cadillac escalade and then maybe you go find like a Hyundai that's like got what you what you by your own admission you look at and go this is this is great for what i need mm-hmm. and everybody around you's like oh dude you bought a Hyundai? like what were you thinking and then but you don't care it, it's just mm-hmm. you're you are content with you the validation comes when maybe that person gets in your car and it's like, dude, my escalator doesn't have all this stuff. And it's like yeah. that product. Like how much did it cost after... for you to pick to fix your car? Oh, well, mine cost oh, like no. half I, that I, much. I don't mm-hmm. know because for 10 years and 100,000 miles, I don't have to touch anything on it. They fix it. <laughs> right. Well, right. It, so, keeping that in mind, can Envy have the reverse effect? Reverse affected? Is it somebody who is spending all this money, right, and getting all these latest and greatest and whatever they think is amazing, and then they go and they see somebody who has that Hyundai with all the bells yeah. and whistles, oh, and yeah. it's it's cheaper to maintain, cheaper to fill up, and then do they in turn are they, like envious of yeah. what oh, they yeah. have? Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. It's almost like buyer's remorse. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Because it's like, I'm making this decision for myself because Mm -hmm. I know what I want. If they're going to make a decision based on what they think is going to make them cooler or give them higher status, you know, they're not going to compare the two because in their mind, it's not Mm -hmm. the same and it never will be the same. And this one's always going to be higher, more expensive. But then... You have to be more concerned about what other people... Oh, I cut you off. Go. Go. Sorry. Um, At the end of the day, it, it, it... you know, two years later or three years later, you realize, oh, I spent ten thousand dollars or whatever, five thousand dollars on fixing stuff, and Mister Toyota is like, I'm chilling, like gas miles per hour. I didn't have to fix it. If I did, it was cheap. Like I'm loving mm-hmm. it, and uh, yeah. So that was yeah. Good. yeah. Don't, don't you know? Yeah, and we probably. I, I know I did it a lot in my youth, but you know, I, I do care what people think. 
but but it's more of I care of how people see me in, in, in my in my negative habits in in the bad mm -hmm. in the things that I would consider, um, you know, um, being rude, impolite, um, mm -hmm. selfish. That aspect that is where I more concern myself of what people think rather than, um, you know, having all the the newest whatever yeah. and and mm -hmm. having that image and caring what people think in that image. It's more of, you know. Uh, I, I care that I'm, I'm viewed as a good person, right? And, and, and yeah. it comes with that, and it's something that flips. So, you know. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. All right. Quick facts. Oh, okay. okay. Shit. Yeah. Woo. So. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right. We got a so, joker in the house. Aha. Uh -huh. Resident right. class clown. I'm not the uh, smart one. <laughs> Duh. I'm not the talent. Got to do something. <laughs> Does that true. make you our Zach Morris? <laughs> no, uh, oh, yeah. when I had the hair, maybe. Not anymore. Well, who's, who's Slater? Who would be Slater? <sighs> Me? I don't know. I don't need a Wait, that was a bad you? example. Wait, but that would make you I don't... screech? No, you would be like, Jesse. No. You would be I Jessie. would be Jesse, which also means I get to sing I'm so excited, I'm so scared, which is I'm so excited. Yeah. Which is I think oh. Then I'm Jesse. <laughs> so there can't be two Jessies, okay? So uh, I I'm so I'm I Zach. Have to be Kelly. I All feel right. like you're All right. most well, maybe Slater. Now, I'll be I'll I be maybe, that Slater. Maybe vibes. a combo between Zach and Slater, and Slater. with a little screech yeah. tossed in there. I feel like I'm Elisa Kelly. Yes, you're. I Elisa think that, that I think that's the whole point of the program, nice. right? It's like it's yeah. like friends. Who do you it's identify like, with? Hey, who do you identify with? Well, like all. Three of them, like yeah. it's it's you know, yeah. because I'm yeah. a lot like all of them, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's that's Different. the whole concept. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Sorry. So going to our friend, back to our uh, friend, the British uh, philosopher, mathematician, <laughs> logician, logician. Uh, Bertrand Russell. Uh, he, right, what did, wait, what did Bertie say? Bertie said. He believed envy could be a driving force between the fluctuations of economies and must be endured to achieve the keeping up with the Joneses system. So essentially, keeping up with the Joneses it is what it keeps our economies going. Ugh. That's what he said. Yeah, it's what oh, capitalism at its finest. Exactly. I, it's capitalism. I think that comes from people who aren't, who, I think it's not, I shouldn't, it shouldn't be the case. I don't think that's what spurs the economy. I think, well, at this point, it's how do I survive? What do right. I need? Like, they, there's, it's like, I have this job, they have this, there's no way. Like, it's mm -hmm. not possible. So yeah. I'm not going to even try to keep up with them. Because I already know what I need to live, and I don't even have that. Yes. Bertie is not living in 2023. And I think a lot of people learn their lessons <laughs> during the housing market crash of 2000. What was that? 2008? Eight? I think Ooh, so. When people were living outside of their means, there was massive debt, uh, credit card debt. Uh, all, yeah. You know what yeah. that's yeah. on me? You know what that's that. on me? Be patient. Mm -hmm. That's what that's on me. Be patient. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. He, Bertie, our friend, believed that 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 the envy and keeping up with the Joneses and stuff is what aids and is necessary to sustain democracy, right? And as a system in which no one can achieve more than anyone else, as in it is impossible. And so they're always striving. So it's that like centrifugal force. Hmm. If that makes sense. There's in, according to him, in democracy, there is no way in that system in which someone can achieve more than anyone else because everyone is trying to outdo everyone else. Uh, then, I would yeah. totally agree with that. And a lot of people, they get hmm. hung up on time, right? They, they and, and mm -hmm. so, 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 so they get hung up on like, I'm never going to be. I, I'm never going to do like make as much as Bill Gates or something of that nature. Right. Well, it's all about time. Right. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 
And so we already talked about uh, what happens with benign and, and malicious envy and keeping up with the Joneses. So that's great. So now I want to kind of bring it to us as adults and let you know. Her New York Magazine. Um, Where's the adult? Is that what's going where, on? What? What? Are you looking for yeah. me? Yeah. Well, Joey's out funny. there. No. <laughs> Well, the um, other thing, we get yeah. we get uh, cut off. Well, your your wonderful, beautiful wife always helps us uh, with the That's time. That's true. That is yeah. true. And we we are so getting like, Hello. there. Like oh, yes. Well, we're, we're, okay. We're like, all right for right. how much? I mean, we're good right now. No, we're no, no, I just I can send a message. How, no, no, I mean, no, 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 no. We're okay. It's fine. So so okay. According to a study <laughs> that was shown in New York Magazine, keeping us on track. Adults under the age of 30 oh, are more like, well, no, no, don't God damn it, it yet. You're going to like okay, it. Okay. Okay. All right. Adults it's under the age of 30. It's a seven deadly sins podcast. No GDs. Like, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Son of a bitch. Jesus there, Christ. Go. Oh, All the man. things we've said, <laughs> taking the Lord's name in vain is where JP draws the line. Cheese and Sorry. rice, man. Oh, Cheese and rice. I used to use that. I need to start using that again. Yeah. I like Fucking to say, um, no, I like to say Jeebus, like from The Simpsons, <laughs> when Homer's like, Jeebus, I don't even know Jeebus. And then later <laughs> on the episode, he's like in trouble or whatever. And he's like, help me, Jeebus. And so, like, that's yeah. my favorite. Okay. Jeez, so Maurice. one more time. Adults under the age of 30 are more likely to experience envy compared to those over the age of 30. Yeah. Okay. Right. And Very older. Much. Yes. Yeah. Typically at that point in life, 30 and older, people begin to accept who they are individually and stop comparing themselves to other people as often I as retract they do. my my uh sin. <laughs> no, because sin. don't retract it because yours just goes to show how it can be situational. What do you, right? what do you spend the first you. 30 years of your life doing? You spend the first 30 years of your life looking out around and, yeah. and, and it's not like Making there's mistakes a, and, there's yeah. not an instruction yeah. booklet, right? So no, yeah. no. Well, it's like, you know, Hey, under 30 married, they got married at 25. So I need to get married at 25 and I need to do this mm -hmm. by 25. Otherwise I'm falling behind when at 30, exactly. you're like, mm. Do what's yeah. right and, for you. And yeah. 50 yes. years ago, they said have seven to ten kids and all that. Like, you know. <sighs> no right? Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. My kids mm -hmm. were the not going to handle that. From? They were not yeah. made, made for that. There's mm -hmm. no money no. for seven kids. Yeah. So, envy, it still shows up in adults 30 years and over, right? It just shows up in different aspects in life. And yeah. this like, how did they is... build that much for retirement at that age? It's ridiculous. I don't even, sorry, go on. No, no, yeah, no, no, yeah. no, you're actually right. Because it is that envy is more focused on either career or money. Yeah. 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 So there is a decrease in envy as a person ages. However, Envious feelings over money was the only consistent thing that increased as a person got older. That makes total sense. Yeah. Unless you diversify your portfolio. Yeah. Diversify what? portfolio. What? Yeah, let me just call yeah. my uh, investment guy. I. <laughs> Because it's and, like, and I feel like you're on your free ones at your bank, you know. Thinking up. Yeah. It doesn't cost anything. Just come in for a meeting. It's fine. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I, to me, it seems like a purely, I'm coming to the end of my life. I'm envious of the people who have done a better job either saving yes, or sure. have make more money. So when they are done, they are going to have this quality of life, even if yes. I, I'm, I'm not. So I could def I for sure see. And a lot yeah. of those people struggled to live in the now. Yeah. 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 Right. It's very yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. And they were probably the people who may have been more envious when they were younger 
mm-hmm. maybe more of that malicious envy than the benign, you know? It's a fine line um, to, you, you You can't take it with you when you're dead, and it's like, well, I just want to have enough so that I can make it to yeah. the death part. Right, right, yeah. exactly. I just want to be able to maintain my life so I can die mm-hmm. when I'm older. Or, or even right. take a little bit of a hit. You know, yes. I just want to be able to live within my means and be able yes. to feed myself. Like, be comfortable. And travel yeah. and, uh, you know, yeah. and all that. Yeah. 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 Yep. So envious feelings are always going to be present in life. Oh, it's just one of the, I think it is more of like the human condition than anything yeah. else. Right. However, it is up to us whether or not we let our envious feelings drive us or destroy us. It's about how we do it, how we approach it. Yes, drive us. exactly. Drive He's us. He's driving us. He's doing a driving us uh, action. Imitation. Uh, I think so. And, um, so uh, I guess it's hard to... So that's just straight up personality, huh? That was mm-hmm. a heavy like, side, though. I know. I was trying to be like, well, is that everybody or is that like, you know, certain people that come from certain life backgrounds or, but it seems like it's just across the board. It's not specific to any type of person or it's really not, it's not. And that's one of the things about envy. I think a person, no matter how good of a person they are, um, I, they're always going to get to a point in their life where they look at somebody who, yeah, maybe is more advantageous than they are, has better fortune, has better things, or, you know, just is doing better in life in general. And even if it's those fleeting moments of wishful thinking and be like, oh, I really yeah. want that life. I really yeah. want it. And there's no reason why we should have it other than the fact that we fucking want it. Right. Yeah. However, we as good people and I think I I hate speaking in generalizations and I don't like to assume about other people. However, I am an optimist at heart. So I would like to think that our world is full of better people than it is assholes. And so they're just they're just laying low because the assholes are too loud right now. They're laying low, waiting it's for usually, things to harmonize. Yeah, it's usually the minority that's the loudest. Every yeah. every um, person has their secret sorrows that the world knows. About. Yes, exactly, and it's what we do with them. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like I said, that really, really matters, right? And as long as we know not to live there in that state of envy, right? Have the wherewithal to yes, be envy. It's it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's a natural feeling, you know, just spin it into a positive, spin it into a positive, don't live there and don't be a dick about it. (laughs) There it is. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. Because you have one doesn't mean you have to be one. Girls can be dicks too and boys (laughs) can be sea bags. I almost said it. Sea bag. Oh. Like a see you next Tuesday. What do you mean? Got it. See Wait, next Tuesday. See you next oh. Tuesday. A k- a k- yeah, yeah. Yep. that's the one. I've called Got it. plenty of men that word. Probably I have called a, a couple women that word. I have yet to say it out loud, but I do under my breath. Oh, well, it's, 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 it's my It's my favorite swear word. I, I get Not with I intent. Know for a fact Not with intent. Just no, 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 no. Mine no, will no. be with intent. When it comes well, out, yeah. it's coming You're out You're like saving it. It's like, oh, I'm ready. Like, You're like waiting for that ready. moment, yep, yep, for it to hit. Here it comes. <laughs> yeah. Woo. I'm going to drop it. It's going to drop it. It's going to hurt. Yeah. Malicious intent. Wow. Malicious intent. Yeah. All right, quick I facts. You guys ready for some quick facts? Yeah, quick yes. fire, go. Quick facts, quick facts. Um, so. Okay. Oops, this is not quick. And, no, sorry, <laughs> I skipped over one because I was like, we don't need to know that. English also. Catch it! Catch one of these. <laughs> um, English-speaking cultures <laughs> often associate envy with the color green, right? Because uh-huh. we're green with envy. Have you guys heard that phrase yeah. before? Mm-hmm. Okay, 
So, do not confuse green with envy with the green eyed monster. Do you guys know what the green eyed monster refers the to? The jealous monster. It's mm. a jealous monster. So the green eyed monster refers to the person whose actions are driven by jealousy, not envy. Right. And en so envy is seeing red. No, oh, that's no. wrath, babe. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We haven't done that one yet. Got it. We we had that first wrath. one. Oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I will feel the wrath. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. <laughs> So, um, the whole color green, green with envy is actually based on a line from Othello in Shakespeare. Um, oh no, I'm sorry. That's the green eyed vent or the green eyed monster based on a line from Othello in Shakespeare. And then also mentioned in the merchant of Venice, the so actual old, old as dirt. But, okay. uh, Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. The green with envy is actually referring to like being sick with envy. So you know how like people yeah. turn green when they're sick. So that's where the whole green with envy comes from. They're sick mm. with envy. It's literally making them sick. They want it so bad. Um, so wrapping up my notes on envy with my quote, right? Got to do my quote. This is from Victor Hugo, which writer classic writer let's hear the what wicked, vicky had to say uh, the Vic. wicked envy and hate it is their way of admiring oh whoa 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 okay hold on can you repeat that absolutely the wicked envy and hate it is their way of admiring oh, okay haters gonna um haters gonna hate haters gonna hate yeah. It's heavy. Right? Yeah, it is. It's heavy. That's their way of, yeah. Or no, imitation is the best form of flattery? Kind of? Kind of. If they're... No, that's not right. Imitation right, is the malicious person. form of flattery. If you well, do I it think maliciously. stalking that person, stealing them, and taking over their life is the malicious. <laughs> that shit's out there. It no, is. There are movies, is there are movies about there. that. Uh -huh. yeah. huh? yeah. Watch out for that. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. So, final thoughts on Envy? Very, very interesting. Very different from what I had uh, expected it to be. And mm -hmm. the fact that everybody has some form of this as a sin, good or bad. It makes me question why it's, or how to d define or um, separate the good from the bad without encompassing it in the whole thing. So like, mm -hmm. envy is bad, but is it always bad? No, it's not. It's one right. or the other. But yeah, you know, but right. so that was very enlightening. I think that's sort of what we are coming across in this series on the seven deadly sins is, yes. <sighs> the foundation of where they are it's bad right it's bad however just like in life and in the world there are always gray areas something is not just oh black God, and white yeah, it is. so it's gray gray. Ooh, gray you've got a gray shirt on a gray Don't hat got a gray background envious. it's a gray mm. <laughs> am i envious or or am i making fun of you well, this is a, Guess we'll it's never not know. like a one-on-one. -on -one. This is like a public thing. Like it's Isn't like it though? A million people can hear this a month. So yeah, I don't know. Ten yeah, yeah. And, and that's what happens because we have a million followers. Right. Right. It's, it's not delicious it. because you keep inviting me back. So, you know, I guess there's that. <laughs> you guys are a, you're not inviting you back. You guys are part of this podcast. So it's not. It's Sorry, not I was trying like to be that. humble. It no, makes me so happy. No, it just it's you not a it's not comedy. a good look on you, JP. Yeah. Being no, it's humble. Be that yourself. is it's, no. yes. <laughs> no, it's not. You being humble is just gross. It's weird, yeah. I'm like this doesn't I mean, feel right. <laughs> hey, dude, being kind of humble. Are you okay? It's like <laughs> Yeah. Damn. Yeah. With love, of course. With love. Right. We oh, say yeah. with okay. love. Always, always. Uh that's me. Did JP, did you go? 
Oh, I can't. I can't say anything that's as uh, even remotely prolific as to, to what you two have said. Um, and, it doesn't and, and have I, to I be prolific. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I get that. I'm just. Uh, I'm in. I'm in complete agreement. I. I, I think that. Uh, I did like the education on, on the the separation between um, mm-hmm. envy and, and, and jealousy and, uh, mm-hmm. you know, um, because I, I think also that with a lot of things that, well, for me personally, once I understand something, um, mm-hmm. that it is easier to to be more cognizant of, of said mm-hmm. behavior or, you know, whatever. So if I find myself being, you know, quote unquote, envious or jealous that, that to be able to stop and self-reflect and go, okay, why, why, why am I having this feeling that I'm having? And a lot of times when you find that you can get to the true root of something that you can either dwell in it and, and bury yourself in that, or you can set yourself on a path to, to, uh, to get away from it, change it, make it better, so on and so mm-hmm. forth. So mm-hmm. usually, um, I know me personally, I get very frustrated and upset and angry when I don't understand something. And that has a negative, um, output from me. And that generally once I understand something and I'm more, um, lucid in that thought that, um, mm-hmm. I, I go back to what, what I like about myself is that I'm a positive person. So it's very helpful. I, I, it's educational. Yeah. I, I agreed. I, I think the negative self-talk part really hit home because that's, sure. you know, that's where I, that's my, that's only thing I really know how to go to like that's yeah. to, and to me that's normal and th- to me that's truth but that's yeah. not truth or and that, no you know, normal yeah and then of all that's... these episodes that we've done that you know it's nice to know like gosh I'm, I'm I'm not that thing except for pride I really don't mind that one I really it's my favorite I mean even the face of my watch is gray I mean I like I still put on cologne you plan this shit Fuck, yeah. Yeah, every time okay so uh, yeah, and even, we didn't even know the thing. So, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's because of clairvoyant. Um, okay. Amazing, Roberta. Thank Every you time. so much. Every time, Roberta. Thank you. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> You're thank the you guys. best. Um, you guys are. I love you guys so much. You better not you. give me this low cap. Yep. I love you. I love, I love you both you so much. Love Very you guys much. too. Love you. Um, twenty years plus or something. I don't know. I really appreciate that been. you put up with me. It's um, uh, it's fun. Okay, negative self talk. Yeah, don't do that to yourself. We don't put we don't up with put you. up with anything. Yeah. Yeah. We love you that. for who you are. Back up. Yeah. Think on that. Uh, yeah. Marker. Marker. Okay. <laughs> I really appreciate that Marked. you embrace who I am. Oh. Very good, very good. Good, good. All right, let's do our sign offs. I'm gonna say, what? Are, what is my sign? Oh, bye. Okay, we'll do bye again at the end. I'm gonna mark okay. that. So, um, let's do our sign off. Let's start with Roberta, and then don't you. Don't be a dick. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Yeah, don't be a dick. <laughs> Everything in moderation except our own. Thank you very much, listeners. Bye. I was supposed to say bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>